My dad always said to travel and see the world before you settle down and get married. Well, I didn't do that, at least not in that order. Six months after he passed away and shortly after my divorce, I started to travel overseas. And I wanted to see the beauty of the Southwest where I'm based. Now on the 10 year anniversary of his passing, I finally made my first trip to India where my parents are from to spend one month between Kerala and his home state of Goa. This trip included the most joyful moments, but getting there and the arrival was not so fun. I am sorry to keep you waiting. I did not get my baggage. No luggage. If you've had this happen to you, you know the stress. And uh, American has not kept that to me. American Airlines has not sent anything. Air India is sending me daily um, updates by email saying they're still working on it, so at least I know. I'm here without just about everything. I packed a light carry-on because of weight restrictions and quickly bought a few items for my flight to Goa in a few days. Like everyone else, I battled the heat. I'm, it's been stinking hot here in Kerala and in Goa. And yes, I got that illness, but I was blessed. Watch. That was so fun to actually be that close on the water, the beautiful still water. I had the best experiences in different places, including a beach shack right in Aganda, a yoga retreat, beautiful place in Mandrum Beach, five-star resorts in Goa, and also at the CGH Earth Casino Hotel in Kerala, where I think I had probably the best seafood I'll ever have in my life. I found the best cafe in South Goa, a traditional Goan breakfast prepared by this chef. And if you've stayed at a yoga retreat, you know about the home-cooked meals. But I needed to get back to my regular diet. And I just brought my fish tali. Here it is. Oh. Uh, is it, you know what, uh, I don't need the shells, though, do I? Uh, hey, what's inside the shell? With so it's stuffed, the shells are stuffed with fish. Give it explain. Oh, okay. This is my fettuccine splurge. I had my first traditional Goan cocktail and indulged in home-cooked meals. India is the birthplace of yoga, and even though I have not been consistent with my yoga practice, this yoga immersion has given me a whole new appreciation for the practice. This is where you're going to get the best traditional training. Speaking of traditions, I managed to get some therapies wherever I went between Goa and Kerala, and I got the most authentic Ayurvedic treatments right there in Kerala. The source of Ayurvedic medicine, including therapies at the Ayurvedic Health Village in Aluva, where I was actually staying there as a patient. That was a phenomenal experience, and I ended up getting referred to a medical specialist. I will be sharing details on this and many more things on this channel and my blog, but I will tell you the biggest highlight of this was going to Goa and meeting my family for the first time, connecting with my roots, learning more about the traditions, getting to know my family and spending time with them, sharing stories about our parents who are all now deceased, but making new stories for future generations. India is a challenging country to visit, but it's very rewarding and it can be life-changing. It chewed me up a bit, but India, I am not done with you. I have details including tips and reviews coming up in the next few videos, so hopefully you can join me. There's additional information on my blog, so grab those links in the description below. And my luggage? Well, it finally arrived, but that's a different story. You know, I think my father would be happy. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again right here.